shit go crazy. What's going on, my good folks? It's your man, your guy, your boy. 1127 kicks. I hope everybody out there is having a great day, an amazing day, an overall blessed day. Say, man, if you're new to the channel, do your boy a huge favor, hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe to the page. And if you're already with the movement, bro, I greatly appreciate you, man. Hit that like button, share this video, and let's go ahead and keep this page growing. So before we get started with anything, man, shout out to Halo the Peril, man. Y'all already know that Instagram is at Halo the Peril. That you can find a link to their website and their bio, man. They sell hats, they sell hoodies. They're very dope, high quality, affordable pricing, man. Make sure y'all tap with them instantly and give them a follow on Instagram as well. Now, with that being said right there, man, February 19th, we are a little less than a week away from this shoe releasing. For a retail price of 200 of them things, man, we have the Air Jordan 3 Cardinal Reds that are slated to release, man. Now, I did do a copper drop video, you did. So, if you haven't checked that out, Make sure you hit that link in my bio, man, to make sure you know you catch up with everything your boy's been putting out. You feel me? Now, with that being said, we about to do this smooth how to cop video. And we're going to talk about resale. We're going to talk about the story list and what I feel about the shoe and things of that nature like that, man. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So, man, as you can see with this shoe right here, this shoe is very smooth, bro. It has that white base leather. It has that cardinal red on there as well, man. You have your Go Air Jordan logo on the shoe, man. Now, this shoe does not have the Nike Air on the back, but that's totally fine with me. I have no issues with that. It's not an OG. I feel like Nike Air should only be, you know, for the OGs. So, with that being said, I'm cool with the Jumpman and the Air logo on there as well with this shoe. Very fire. And like I said in my copper drop video, when Air Jordan and Nike, they put just a white base leather on the air jordan 3 they could throw any other you know color on there and the shoes gonna pop we could go back to your white cements we could go back to the valor blues you feel me now we got these right here like it's always going to pop the orange uh the white and orange ladies exclusive that came out i believe last year it always pops bro it always pops man and the quality on the shoe looks amazing i have no complaints i will honestly give it a 10 out of 10 just in my personal opinion now with that being said right there you already know we got to go ahead and get into this resale because that's what everybody really tap into you feel me when it comes to the sneaker game nowadays so on stock as you can see this shoe was going for 330 dollars and up so you're looking at the very least your profit of 130 dollars and maybe even more if you sell the shoe locally now as you can see that size seven is always going to pop size seven in men's that's something that that's new that has came around before it was seven and a half they went down to a seven rare size man so if you get that you got gold and like i said every you know every size is profitable but when you look into maximize it i'll definitely say size seven and look at that 11 on up those bigger sizes are going to fly off shelves that's what it is nowadays i remember before it was like if you was a seven and a half between a nine and a half ten it was very hard to get those pairs man and the bigger sizes was always available but now the bigger sizes are you know the most sought after for the most part so like i said size 7 and size 11 on up if you're just trying to maximize your profit but in general if you get your hands on the pair you got some profit coming your way and as you can see on goat it's the same exact thing bro that's that's 330 and up you feel me you know that size 7 is looking good Eight looking good everything is looking good on there but once again when you're looking to maximize your profit you will see as it keeps on scrolling through you feel me that size 11 on up are the big sizes and those are the sizes that's really going for some money right there man you honestly looking at almost a $200 profit and that's if you just selling on goat now you know you got to take out fees and stuff like that but if you're selling locally you getting all that you getting all that you probably could squeeze them out selling for 400 to get double the price bro i really wouldn't be surprised if you're actually able to do that man so this shoe right here is definitely profitable now with that being said this shoe is releasing at full family size and it's an air jordan 3 so this shoe will be true to size i wouldn't say go a half size down or a half size up definitely get your true to size when it comes to the shoe in my personal opinion because for one get a half size down in the air jordan 3 your feet gonna hurt i ain't gonna lie about that if you get a half size up the shoe's gonna crease 
very ugly. You feel me? They already crease, you dig? But when it's a perfect size, the crease is not that bad. But if you go a half size up, that crease is going to be is going to be very ugly. So you don't want to be a part of that team right there, bro. I'm trying to tell you, man. Now, with that being said right there, I will have a story list up of everywhere that this shoe will be releasing. Now, one thing that I have been being asked on, you know, my How to Cop videos, a lot of people ask me about the draw and everything like that. Now, this is the thing about the draw. When you enter for a size on a draw, when you enter for that size, bro, now... Nine times out of not even nine times out of ten. If you don't hit on that size, you cannot re-enter the draw for that size. You can't re-enter the draw at all. Once you enter the draw, that is it. Unless you know the shoes don't sell out, and then they'll you get a notification like it's on the add to cart on Nike, and then you just get on your Nike app or Nike.com and do that. But once you enter the draw for your size, so say if I enter the draw for a size 12, that's it for me. That is totally it for me unless the shoe doesn't sell out. But other than that, after you get your notification, if you do take an L, it's only thing is going to say you took your L, and it's going to say draw close. It's not going to say re-enter the draw. So, you know, be mindful about that once again. So, if you enter the draw for whatever size, that is the size that you're going for. And if you miss out on it, you just missed out on it. Unless the shoe doesn't sell out. But this shoe is releasing, you know, Nike, Dick Sporting Goods, Jimmy Jazz, snipes jd sports finish line champs be on the lookout for you know the jd uh the jd sports app when they do the little status exclusive access i believe they will be giving out exclusive access monday or tuesday that's usually how they've been doing it man so they so if you do have those apps make sure you stay tapped in with those also i wouldn't be surprised if you know reservations on the flex app open up that's that's your champs that's your foot locker that's your east bay and things of that nature like that man so make sure y'all go ahead and tap in with that as well and if you can do the footwork go ahead and holler at your people at your local malls man this shoe will be widely available it's not going to be a tier zero release or anything like that it's not a limited release by far you feel me so this is one of those shoes that your local mall is going to have them your bomber pops and shop your mom and pop shops excuse me they're gonna have them as well and like i said this is my theory if dick sporty goods is getting the shoe this shoe is available so make sure you tap in with that bro immediately tap in with that immediately because bro dick sporty goods is getting the shoe man so these shoes are widely available so don't even trip if you do catch an l on this shoe at all in my personal opinion now as far as resale after the shoe releases i think resale will dip down a little bit i could see it in that 325 range maybe even lower but over time this shoe is definitely going to go up this is a great shoe to have for trade block in my personal opinion this is the closest air jordan 3 to the air jordan 3 katrina's and that's a you know that shoe is definitely up there when you talk about air jordan 3 so even if you want to get the shoe you know what i'm saying for trade block this is a great trade bait shoe as well man especially since trade block is like the new thing now and people are actually catching real dubs off of trade block you never know somebody might have you know a dead stock pair of whatever and they really don't want it but they want that shoe and you know you have it you trade that you dig what i'm saying so that's something to be mindful of as well man and the last thing i do want to say is is that if you're if you're on sneakers because i get a lot of questions about sneakers if you're on sneakers and you have wi-fi in your house and you have multiple devices bro I'm sorry, i gotta say this in every video man bro you cannot have all your devices on the same Wi-Fi because if Nike sees that, that is all, if you hit on all three and it's from the same IP address, they will cancel your orders. So be mindful about that, man. So if you have your phone, you have a computer, your computer's already connected to the Wi-Fi. So on your phone, you're just going to have to go off your data. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, you're in a great area. You dig what I'm saying. But if you're trying to go off Wi-Fi on multiple devices, it's an L. I'm just letting you know that right now, bro. Just keeping it real with you. But with that being said right there, this is definitely a fire shoe, man. Let me know how y'all feel about the shoe in the comment section below. Let me know if this video was informational for y'all, man. Let me know if I could do anything better when it comes to these videos. I know it's, you know, kind of repetitive when I do it, but you know, you never know who's coming new to the page. Just let me know how y'all feel about this shoe in the comment section below. And with that being said right there, y'all already know how we finna end the video off. If you search for good, you shall find a favor. If you search for evil, shall find you. 
Proverbs 11, 27. And we walk in faith and not by sight. For what is seen is temporary, what is unseen is forever. I live by that. I stand by that, man. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay safe. And it's your boy, 1127 Kicks. And always remember, bless your people, so. Who did hit me up and told me shit on these niggas? Cause these niggas out here came back to showing the different. Keep on dropping all of that shit that made these four wanna listen. You know these niggas ain't fucking tellin' get out of here.